Hello friends, here's a secret tip for you. In my video last week, you might have noticed that I used rounded corner rectangles at the bottom of each page, behind the text, to explain how to move to the next frame. And if you've tried to create rounded corner rectangles yourself, you might have seen there's not a built-in shape for this. So let me show you how I made them. Well first off, this works on all three level types, but it's easier in vector levels. So on your vector level, choose the geometry tool, select the rectangle shape and change the join option on the toolbar options bar to the round join option. That's the middle one just here. And then draw your rectangle. And you probably can't really see the roundedness of the corners yet because the line is too thin. So using the selection tool, let's select this rectangle and increase the thickness a little bit. And now you should see that the corner is curved. So let's continue to make this line thicker. And voila, you've now got a rounded rectangle. And if you make the line thick enough so that the middle is filled in and adjust the height, you'll get the solid rounded pill shape that I used in last week's project. Pretty easy once you see it. And you can use the same technique in the raster and tunes raster levels but you can't adjust the line thickness on the fly. So to do it in these level types, just use the rectangle option of the geometry tool, choose the round join option, make the line thickness quite thick, and then draw your rectangle. And if it's not curved enough, just hit undo, change the thickness and try again. But personally, I find it easier and quicker to adjust the thickness of the line once it's on screen, instead of repeatedly undoing and redrawing. Which is why I tend to use the vector levels for these types of shapes. And that's great for drawing filled rounded rectangles, but what about drawing thin rounded rectangle outlines like these? Or even outlines of any shape? Well, that's what I'll show you next time, as it involves using the effects. But in the meantime, I'll post another useful video here, so do check that out. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of when this comes out. So I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a darren tea.